to record and keep an eye on the chat for time. Great, thank Hi, you. Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, so my name is Michael Stack and I am with TV Fanatic. Hi. So for both of you, what drew you to your roles? Uh, like the most. <laughs> yeah, who should go first? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wants to. <laughs> um, okay, um, I would say I was drawn to um, her unselfconsciousness and her <laughs> shamelessness because <laughs> That's very different from me as a person. <laughs> and so it's always fun playing a character who um, interacts with the world in a very different way to yourself, like the way you do. And then also just the way she's written is, she, it, it's so funny. And I, I really wanted that to come across. And so that was the challenge for me. I was like, I need to make, I need to like do this justice in terms of the humor. And that was really fun. Um, for me and Dr. Kabir, I think I was very drawn to the fact that she, um, she doesn't realize, uh, her, I, that she's realizing her potential in real time. Um, and you're kind of going on that journey with her. Um, so kind of, she doesn't realize how strong she is until it's tested under like the most extreme circumstances and that was just and also she is um you know that she that she's very much from the heart um that was something I instantly loved about her so what were some of the difficulties working on a science fiction cgi heavy show In terms of the CGI, I don't know like whether Christina and I necessarily had a lot of, um, because I think most of our scenes were quite concentrated in, in our specific kind of um, parts of the ship, but it is, it is a spec, like it is such a, um, I mean, it was just kind of like, I, I did have a like, holy cow moment every time I stepped on set and you kind of take in this shift it's just it's incredible and it's not anything I've ever done before but you feel the scale of it uh, immediately yeah. so even though our scenes were kind of might be in one particular part of the ship you kind of you are so aware of the size of of what you're part of yeah and actually just remember something that in the first episode we're kind of learning to use our limbs again because mm. we've been, um, come you know back we haven't used our muscles um and i suppose it was kind of like how how quickly do each of us re kind of calibrate our bodies that i remember that being something that we talked about and tried to decide and um and map out for ourselves and then actually from a practical perspective, when you were talking about the set, I actually had an issue finding my way around the stages. <laughs> That's true. I was like amazed. I, I, I feel like everybody else kind of got the hang of it after a couple of weeks. Four months in, I still had to be like, Angela, where's the observation? I, I was just gonna <laughs> say, if it wasn't for Angela, we would all be lost. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. I was quite ashamed about that. That's the first time I've admitted that. <laughs> So you said four months. How long did the filming process take? About four and a half, right? Is we when did we start? March, mid March, and it went. Uh, yeah, it took us to the right to the end of July. Yeah, God, but I mean, it is twelve episodes, and each episode is an hour. So there was a lot. There was a lot. Was yeah, a lot to shoot. Yeah, yeah definitely. I felt. No, I was just curious, and especially with this kind of ensemble-driven show, I imagine that how difficult was it to kind of find your own character with all of these, with this big cast of different eccentricities of characters? Yeah, that's a good question, actually, because we're all quite different. Um, I, my character... I didn't find it difficult to find her because she is that different from everybody else that she almost has her own, like her own thing going on. You know, she has cat's quarters. She's got her own, you know. So that wasn't, it wasn't difficult for me to find my place within there. But 
she it was also sometimes it was like what does she know because the other characters discuss things and they mm. you know they have like these uh meetings and things and we don't really see her do that so I'm like where is she getting her information from sometimes I had to like kind of decide that for her. yeah that's that's a really good point actually yeah because you um because we kind of also we have you're you're in you have so many kind of so many things happening at the same time on board but you are not sure kind of how much you know of the full situation but I think actually the other characters on board because the relationship our relationships with each other are such a huge part of the story it was actually hugely helpful to kind of like from day one to just kind of be like all thrown together um was actually really formative for for the character as well because she's she's also reacting to that because we're all getting to know each other but then also having to survive together yeah definitely i mean that's very similar you were thrown into the the set in serbia they were thrown into problems <laughs> yeah <laughs> so just one final thing what is your like biggest thing you're excited for to see fans reacting to the show i'm just so excited to see them um kind of like getting to discover our characters because i think um watching it personally i just was so excited by everybody's work and i just think everybody is so brilliant and it's just it feels so real and I, I'm just really excited to see what the fans make of, of our characters and the relationships between them. Yes, absolutely. And also I wanna see if they can guess what might happen. Um, <laughs> I, I hope they are as excited as we were when we were trying to figure out what the next thing was gonna be and, yeah. and you know, predicting it ourselves. So I hope that it's um, as enjoyable for them as it was for us. Yeah. Awesome. I will say I'm already like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Like as I'm <laughs> just the, the bits that I've seen, I'm like, oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, what's yeah. that? Why did that? So I'm very, I'm very interested to see what happens in the rest of the season. Thank you so much for your thank time you. and for your answers. It was very lovely. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, my brother's Michael. called Michael, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a popular name. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm all set on my end. Thank you, Chloe. Awesome. Thanks so much.